While Chrome is the most used web browser, it's far from being the best. Firefox from Mozilla is one such option to consider for your daily use. When compared to Chrome, Firefox has additional features built in, more of a focus on privacy, and unlike most of Chrome's rivals, it's one of only a few browsers that's not based on Chromium. Coming up, I'll show you eight reasons why you should quit using Chrome and use Firefox instead. Let's get started. An annoyance for many people using Chrome are those auto-playing videos on the websites they visit. On some of those sites, when you scroll down, the video will pop up no matter where you are on that page, creating more of a distraction until you close it out. On Chrome, you can install a third-party extension to put a stop to those auto-playing videos, or better yet, use Firefox with that feature already built in. On Firefox, to stop auto-play videos, click the menu icon in the upper right and select Settings. In the left pane, select Privacy and Security. Scroll down to the Permissions section, look for Autoplay, and select Settings. Click the drop down for default for all websites. You have three choices allow audio and video, block audio, and block audio and video. Select Block Audio and Video to put a stop to those autoplay videos and click Save Changes. No one would ever say with a straight face that Chrome is great for privacy. Their whole business model is based on gathering your data. Firefox, on the other hand, blocks third-party cookies and trackers by default. It also blocks fingerprinting, which tracks and collects information about your PC's hardware, software, add-ons, and your preferences over a period of months, ignoring your indications that you don't want to be tracked, even when you're using a private browsing mode. In addition, Firefox recently rolled out Total Cookie Protection. This blocks tracking companies from following you site to site, keeping those cookies only on the website they were created, reducing the data they have on you. Total cookie protection is still in the testing phase. If you'd like to try it out, click the menu icon and select settings. Select the privacy and security tab. In the browser privacy section here at the top, go to standard and tick the box next to test pilot, our most powerful privacy feature ever. Then click on Reload All Tabs for it to be active. There may be times you want to read an article without the advertisements, pop-ups, and other clutter distracting you. Chrome does offer a reader mode in their experimental features, but quite honestly, it's terrible. Firefox has had a reader mode for several years, and it works great with just one click. To enable reader mode, click the reader mode icon in the address bar. As you can see, this looks a lot better. Over here on the left, you have settings to change the font type, font size, the content width, and the content height. You can also change the color scheme. Your choices are light, sepia, and dark. If you want to take a screenshot of a website using Chrome, you'll need to install a third-party extension or download software to your computer. Using Firefox, the screenshot tool is built in. Some of you might be thinking that Chrome is woefully slow in implementing new features, and you'd be right. To use the Firefox screenshot tool on any website, right-click anywhere within the browser window and select Take Screenshot. You have the option to capture what is visible on your screen, the entire page. You can also left-click and drag an area and let go. You can also adjust the area captured by left-clicking the sides and corners, dragging to make adjustments. When you're done with that, there's a button to copy to your clipboard to paste wherever you want it, and another button to download it to your computer. Do you wish that the mobile app for Chrome had extensions just like their desktop browser? Well, keep on wishing, probably will never happen. With the Firefox mobile app for Android only, you can now add extensions that make the browsing experience more enjoyable. To add an extension in Firefox, tap the menu icon in the lower right, then tap Add-ons. There's not a whole lot to choose from right now, but the two I have enabled has made browsing on mobile a lot more pleasant. While Chrome is built on the open source Chromium code, the browser itself is not open source using proprietary code, making it difficult for independent security analysts to inspect the code. That's probably why it has so many issues. Firefox, on the other hand, is 100% open source, supported by a community of thousands of developers, making it safer because the code can be analyzed by anyone for any reason. 
Under the terms of their license, you're free to use, copy, modify the code, and distribute to others. When it comes to customization, Firefox gives you more choices than Chrome with additional controls, toolbars, buttons, and a plethora of pre-built themes to choose from. And for those of you that want to express your creative side, Firefox created an add-on called Firefox Color that lets you build your own theme, giving you full control to customize the browser how you want it. Speaking of extensions, Chrome does offer you more than Firefox, but of those you'd actually use on Chrome, most are also available on Firefox. In addition to Firefox Color, Firefox has other useful add-ons that are not available for Chrome. The Firefox Multi-Account Containers add-on allows you to be logged into multiple accounts in separate tabs on your browser at the same time. For example, this would come in handy if you had multiple accounts with a social media company like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or one of the many others to be signed into two or more different accounts on the same site. And Firefox Relay is useful for those times that you don't want to give out your real email address. For example, when signing up for an account, newsletter, or some other reason, it'll create an email alias that gets forwarded to your real email address. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you've already made the switch from Chrome to Firefox, let us know in the comments why you switched. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.